Hi, so my name is Dr. Kevas and today I'll be examining you. So in your form I read that you have a shoulder pain. So is it like severe or is it like on, on scale from 1 to 10 uh, how painful you would say it I is? I would say it's about 6-7. Uh, 6-7, seven. Six, seven, okay. Did you have any kind of accident or anything like that? Uh, I suppose it was because I was sleeping on that shoulder, so okay. I don't know. So I, I made probably I made some bad movements, so okay. Because so, of that. so we are going to check that out. Perfect. Any other issues that you have? No. All right. So first of all, I'm just going to be um, looking at the shoulder itself. Be looking if there is any redness, any obvious scarring, or any dislocation of it. Okay. So that seems to be sort of normal. What I will check now is I'm going to go from behind. Now we'll check the shoulder levels so it seems to me a little bit that this shoulder is a little bit higher than this one it might be as you said because of the sleeping because if you sleep on the shoulder you will automatically kind of lift it up to your ear okay so Just take my gloves and I'll be palpating. So, have you ever had any injury before? Any broken bones? No. Okay, right. So, I'll start with the clavicle. I'll be palpating both the sides so that I can see if there is a difference, okay? Yes. around the clavicle it seems to be all right I don't feel any impingement or anything so let's move just move your hair side a little bit okay now at the end of the clavicle we'll just move this a little bit from your clavicular joint if you feel any pain or discomfort during okay. this just let me know okay. right okay this seems to be all right come in the um, range of movement section yeah, so also I think so also I feel it when I move my shoulder I feel it like from the back side from the back side yes, yes. okay okay what about the supraspinatus yes yeah, something like that so about here yeah, yeah. Exactly. But at the top right there? Um, I think a little bit uh, lower. Yeah, lower. Okay. How about the bicep tendon? That should be alright. Yeah, it's it? all right. Okay. Good. I will also check the other side just quickly to. 
good to assess if everything seems to be alright. So looking for any redness or anything and there is none so that's good. I will now try to move your shoulders back and forth, back and forth. If you feel any pain, especially in the back movement, I will go really lightly and then try to push it a little bit more forward and back. Okay, so um, stop me if there is any problem. Okay, so just a little bit forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Any pain? nothing then I will grab uh, your hand you can have it absolutely mm -hmm. relaxed and I will just try to sort of um, move it in different direction I will be trying the range of movement of the shoulder and also of uh, other parts of your uh, arm because the problem might be elsewhere than in the shoulder okay so I'll just try your Wrist at first. Keep it nice and relaxed. Okay, I will now try to move it to the side. Just gently guiding your movements. If there is any pain, just let me know. That's why I'm going so slowly. I don't want to hurt you. Now in the elbow, I'll just try to extend the hand and then bend it. That's all right? Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Now I will lift your arm this way. And down this way. More up. And time I will lift it. Okay. Good. Any pain? Actually, when it's going back, I feel a little bit of pain, like in the At the back? Okay. Yes, yes. So when it's like a little bit more pushed, yes, right? Exactly. There. Okay. I will just move your hand to the side. Just gently at first. Try to notify me when you feel the pain. Exactly, just say, now, now it's painful. No, actually, in this side, it's okay. It's but okay, yes. okay. I'll try to lift it one more here. Yeah, but That's it's okay. going a little bit back. Okay. So I feel it. Yeah. Okay. So, now what I will do is I will just grab your hand mm -hmm. and I will just try to pull it a little bit backwards okay. and tell me when it's like hurtful and try to also add the scale if possible okay. from one to mm -hmm. ten so if i push it here is it one two three four five six mm -hmm. is it ten right okay. there okay, okay sure. i will not go to ten <laughs> you know but just to like uh, have a certain uh, image in my head idea okay so what about here it's like Four five. Four five. Yes. Okay. Here. It's already okay. Perfect. Six seven. Yes. Six seven. Okay. So we are not going to go farther with that. Perfect. I will now just try to uh, make a sort of a circle up. Mm -hmm. Any pain? That's all covered. Okay. And this. Mm -hmm. It's the same outside. Yeah. We'll try it on the other side, okay. just to see. Okay, 
so this will be much faster mm. than the previous one. So I'll just grab your hand and move it up and down, up and down, up and down, you know, to the side. Okay, here it cracks a little bit. Do you primarily use your right? Or your left hand, right? Okay. Perfect. Now we'll try to extend the elbow. Okay, and now we'll just lift it up. And uh, any pain, discomfort? No, that's right. Fine. And up. And down. I'll move it to the side. That's all right? Okay, perfect. So, there might be an impingement or dislocation uh, in the sort of back area of your shoulder. So, uh, I will try to press some pressure. Uh, press some pressure points and uh, we will see if that will help and I also then will try to sort of um, make a movement to crack and like put back the shoulder where it's supposed to be okay so uh, it should not be hurtful at all it will be just really hopefully a slight crack and that will be it Pressing some points. So pop it around the scapula. Any other issues with your back? Sometimes I feel pain, but it's when I sit for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, like while working, so okay. I have to make some exercises, but then it's okay. Yeah. Okay. And is it mostly in the um, yes, cervical area? Yes. Yeah, okay. Probably at the last uh, yes. vertebra, yes. right? Yes. Okay, on C7. That's normal when, if you are working on a computer and up and forward a lot to the computer. Okay. Okay. So
this and I will be listening to your shoulder and to the joints and cracks and that it produces when there is movement, okay? So I will just grab your hand again, gently and moving it. Okay, what about you? Okay, interesting. Now I will just, again, use your arm, I will turn it like this, and put the wrist on your elbow, Now I will go back from behind, and I will sort of hug you, okay. and then I will sort of make a um, pulling movement, and should uh, put the shoulder back into its place, okay? like this and we will do the pulling movement in three, two, one. Okay. Okay, that cracked a little bit. Is it better? It feels like yes. Yes. Okay. okay. To like that. Okay, it probably will not be um perfect in a matter mm -hmm. of seconds, but it should be a little bit better yeah. now. I will now again try the um, moving sort of test and we will see if there is still so much pain or if it is better. Yes, sure. All right. So I will again take your hand and I will be pulling it back. Still a little bit of pain? Yes, I still feel it but uh, I feel some form feeling, you know, like when it was like, I don't know, I just feel something warm so it's make me more comfortable. And on the scale from 1 to 10? I would say it's maybe 5. 5, okay. Like it's not so uncomfortable as it, as it was before, but okay. still something. Still, yeah. yes. So I will now just do a little bit of massaging certain areas. Um, so hopefully we will sort of release the tension. Try to warm it up a little bit so that it's not so cold. Okay.
so I'm just massaging a small area Just again, grab your shoulder and sort of move it back and forth. Just try to relax, not to move. I'm only to movement. Any pain? Did it get better? I would say that yes, because I feel like, you know, such a pleasant feeling that it's kind of Relax. Okay, I wanna grab your hand. Okay. If you keep um, your elbow to the side of your body, now we'll just try to move it like that. Is everything alright? Like, you know, not 100% alright, but actually, like. Maybe I would need, I don't know, some cream on that place, you know, some... I would definitely recommend mm -hmm. to go to a physiotherapist um, to give you a massage. Some offer it, some don't, but they are taught um, massages in school, so that would definitely be helpful. Or you can go to a really good um, massage. Um, yeah, yes. you will see. Uh, I can, of course, write you a prescription on any pain. Um, but um, you definitely will have to avoid mm -hmm. um, the sleeping on your side. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. That's my favorite side. <laughs> At least um, for a little bit, it might help you. If you maybe lie on the back mm -hmm. and you just sort of um, put pillow around your head and also around the sides so you can actually move the head and so that it doesn't fall to one side or the other, it might prevent you from um, later in the day um, or in the night, <laughs> not in the day, to um, reshift your position. Yeah, to a different good. one. Okay. Sounds good. So, um, what I want to do is, um, yeah, listen again to the movement with the stethoscope. Okay, I'll just grab your hand sure. again. Try to relax it as much as possible. I will guide a movement. Okay. Now here. Alright, so I will write you um, a sort of a cream that creates a little bit of heat. If it's too warm, just uh, try to kind of like scrub it from the skin. Sometimes it can be really sweet if that your eyes can get a little bit teary. Uh, but I don't think that it's so horrible. Some people are just more sensitive mm -hmm. than others. 
um, so that should help you just to kind of sort it out and to um, boost the system um, to more rapid healing and rapid movements. Alright, bye!